इस चीज के बारे में होगा तो एस एन प्लीज वुड यू कैन इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट टॉक अबाउट इट इन डिटेल इन नेक्स्ट लाइफ well uh, first of all it's it's uh, nice to i think be uh, actually being a part of the first actually session um uh, for on this in this community uh, basically i'm i'm a producer director writer i also post production pretty much everything but primarily a producer and director and a writer so uh, those of you who don't know me i've actually been in saudi for about 23 years uh and uh, pakistan mein bhi kuch maine kaam kiya hua hai you can ask abrar abrar was actually one of the first who uh, worked with me in my first ever short films that i made in pakistan after coming back from new york so new york film academy se maine apni kya kehte hain qualification ki hui and film and uh, worked in hollywood for a long while there. so spent spent a considerable amount of time uk mein thoda bbc ke sath kaam kiya hua hai and then uh, After all of that journey that I went through abroad, May um, Pir when uh, cameras were banned, that was back in uh, 2016. Or uh, I met an American who said, "I'm short film kid. I got a scholarship and I, I left for the US." Or first work, cut, cut, cut. Journey, whole history. Pakistan also came. Then in between, some short films were made. But at that time, Pakistan, I feel, was not ready. um in terms of what was happening there the yeah, ek infrastructure nahi tha there was not a proper cycle my industry was still in its uh, very early stages so i came a little too soon and then the medical gap and, and then i came to saudi and then yahan pe suddenly the the whole prospect just opened up so quickly and i was actually one of the ogs when it came to uh, among filmmakers there be saudi mujhe jante the ki ye banda film wala So I think I cashed that in in terms of just being here for long enough, or uh, and then just started uh, you know doing short films on my own budgets, very low end, and suddenly suddenly escalate, करते करते करते. Now we're here, you know, having more than 15 international film festivals under my belt. Um, you know, Red Sea in last film, the first one went to Saudi Film Festival, uh, and both times being a Pakistani. I've not seen a second Pakistani um, in in around me, and so the people have been telling me that uh, you know you you really have opened doors for Pakistanis, and it's a proud moment. It's a proud moment for all of us, and kind of to be that gateway for more filmmakers. Actually, I think इसीलिए हम ये session कर रहे हैं so that more people come into Saudi, more people kind of see that the doors have been opened uh, after all the media buzz and everything. it's very apparent especially after arbeus that saudis are taking us seriously and uh, with the with the film jo ab gayi hai they know we can pull things off they know that you know we 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 have film makers on our, in our country jo ke unke level pe kaam kar sakte hain and, and i already knew that it's just a matter of they do but now they do and now the door is is open the ground is clear and it's time to play it's time to play and it's time to play on a big level and that is basically where i've been sitting the table that i've been sitting with with the americans with the with the saudi filmmakers i am hearing some pretty good news and and that's why i think the session is happening this might be the first uh, insight ke saudi mein exactly ho kya raha hai prospects kya hai okay <clears throat> thank you so much asim uh, this was very insightful um acha we you already i think talked about the recent developments so let's uh, just <clears throat> move on to the next slide Okay, so our next uh, slide would be about resources and infrastructure. Uh, so, what have you seen as in being there, uh, making films there? What do you What do you think about the resources uh, they, that they have, uh, or the infrastructure ban right for making? Because up until now, it was completely zero because of the laws in Saudi Arabia. Okay, so even, I mean, I've never heard of a, in my entire life, I've never heard of a Saudi film. I mean, Pakistan, I've never heard of it. कि कोई सऊदी अरब में भी फिल्म बनती है या नहीं तो ये अभी रीसेंट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कोई डेवलप आर देयर एनी स्टूडियोस बेसिकली ऐसा ही कोई चीज है सो 
so now suddenly everything is here in in like a big bang kind of a vibe so jaise big bang theory hum samjhte hain na ki ek 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 jhatke mein sab kuch aa gaya saudi mein bhi yahi ho raha hai jhatke mein sab kuch hua basically the amount of money that they're pulling through and the amount of investments that the government is making in this industry is is beyond anything i've seen i think maine hollywood ko bhi nahi dekha is like itni fast pace pe itni badi investments karte hue 17.4 billion dollars are being invested in this industry 138 million dollars ki industry ho chuki hai in one year uh, and it's escalating towards being a 1 billion dollar industry in the next 5 years and uh, we and and those numbers by the way are old jo main word of mouth dekh raha hu from studios from people who are on the ground they are saying no this this is small numbers now we are talking 3 billion dollars we are talking 4 billion dollars we are talking right now a film and a saudi film called sattar sattar is is very much like uh, this film in hollywood that came out by jack la called nacho libre and it's kind of like a very similar film very very similar concept that film made 170 million real in 3 months that is how big this industry is getting it's a it's a huge bubble that it has is no way going to slow down anytime soon it's only going to speed up or uh, you know with uh, suddenly being two major film festivals jo har saal hote hain which is the saudi film festival just been mini last film thi and then the red sea just been mini film 2021 mein jab gayi thi so uh, both these festivals are not only open to international people they're open to locals they're open jahan pe sare hollywood aur bollywood stars jab nazar aane shuru ho gaye i was surprised shahrukh khan was here at the last one i was surprised that uh, some really all, all, all you know uh, uh, oliver stone was here as well and like you're seeing all this international flux coming in uh, from both investments as well as uh, talent or uh, we're seeing about 400 to 500 screens so far in saudi with an estimated 2600 cinema screens by vision 2030 ke hisab se jo inka plan hai ke 2030 ke hisab se 2600 cinema screens aur aur saadi honge so agar inhone 400 screeno mein 170 million real 3 mahine mein bana liye ek film se so you can only imagine what's happening here i think this is something this is data that i only know from other sources which is not easy to find and i'm sharing it exclusively here for the first time with anyone in pakistan um uh, because no one knows about this uh, ye yeah, these are only people that we know who are deep inside who are people right now sitting with key players and 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 but right now i'm at least trying my best to to make sure ke i get more numbers out so the resources are endless they have all the cameras they have all the studios the biggest one you guys can google is talfaz Talfaz Hadash is what they call it here, but it's called Talfaz Eleven. Five Colors is another one. These are major productions and studios that are raking in millions, spending millions. And Film Al Ula and all these, you know, they recently made a film with Johnny Depp. They finance the whole thing. They finance the whole Hollywood film. Kandahar is another one you guys can research on, which is made in Al Ula. I visited Al Ula about two months ago. It's, it's a beautiful place that. a lot of film production is happening there with hollywood people so this is this is just a small snippet i guess i gave you guys this is a small snippet okay uh, thank you so much ashin uh, i think matlab it it is the cinema uh, sorry i forget bolna cha raha hai to my question just a small question here that i was thinking of ke wo um, ott ki taraf स्ट it is the one that is raking in millions the one that's spending millions sattar is going to be on shahid and the biggest success of shahid uh, before sattar uh, was uh, uh, rashash uh, i met the actor of rashash and producers and and uh, and british people were involved behind it in collaboration with saudis so 
you are seeing uh, and that genre like uh, beside me they come popular genres and themes they are all over they are doing commercial they are doing, they're doing pop conflicts they are doing let's, uh, let's discuss uh, the, the this slide ke popular genres or themes kya because as a pakistani filmmaker jab main jata hu to mere zehen mein zyada popular theme matlab mera jo dil karta short films banane ka ya films banane ka wo meri apni surroundings mein hai theek hai मैं घुसता हूँ जाके तो कोयटा में या पेशावर में क्योंकि मैंने अपना बचपन वहाँ पे गुजारा हुआ है तो मतलब मेरे जहन में सारी स्टोरीज वो चल रही है यू कैन नॉट ब्रिंग दोज थीम्स टू सऊदी अरब राइट तो व्हाट डू यू थिंक के स्पेसिफिक यानराज ए थीम्स क्या है वो जो पाकिस्तानी फिल्म मेकर्स हैं वन देर पिचिंग टू दैम वी कैन गेट इन टू डिटेल के हाउ वी पिच टू दैम लेकिन लेट्स से दैट वी आर तो इसके अंदर हम ऐसी कौन सी थीम्स हैं जो कि हम छेड़ सकते हैं हॉर यूनिवर्सल है ऐसी कौन सी यूनिवर्सल थीम्स हैं वट डू थिंक ऑफ दैट I think right now, for example, we are seeing a lot of themes which are getting very a lot of popularity is societal-based films, uh, films that uh, that are revolving around relationships, that are revolving around uh, you know uh, hardships, that are revolving around um, obstacles that are societal-driven. Uh, we are seeing a lot of cultural-driven stuff, uh, something anything that promotes their culture internationally. uh is is being taken uh anything that promotes them on a level where they are talking on um uh, you know the basis of very out of it experimentation films main apne army uske article mein bhi ye cheez mention ki thi ke uh, for pakistanis this is great because they are really experimenting with everything they are exper- experimenting with thrillers they love thrillers Oh, they love suspense stuff. They love detective stuff. They love stuff that is, uh, you know, uh, something that really pushes uh, the 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 red line. Right now, red lines in Saudi are very important when it comes to culture. You know, you can't say that. You can't say that. You can't post too much. You can't show any type of sexual or nudity kind of a thing. Uh, I mean, in our Pakistan, the same thing is that which is makes us very easy to work here. Uh, the good thing is we don't have to resort to what Hollywood resorts to. हमारे कुछ ethics हैं और कुछ morals हैं जो आप पाकिस्तान में follow करते हैं and the good thing is Saudi is very similar to us. So that's why it's very easy to integrate with their cultural aspect with their red lines. But uh, we are we're looking at pop conflicts right now. So Tar ke baad we're looking at very commercial driven. I mean their version of, their version of commercialism, which is fun, uh, comedy. um you know light hearted family oriented films they're looking into that but i i, I know there's a lot of filmmakers among us who experimenting bahut pasand karte hain experimental films banana chahte hain so that ground is there that ground is just as much there and these people love that that this here he's slowly becoming this weird kind of a dicaprio kind of a actor with a lot of popularity uh, rashash he was uh, one of the he was the antagonist he was like that joker kind of an anarchist character jo rashash ka thoda theme based on tha and uh, there is a lot of local talent coming up uh, you know mbc talent is one jo ke talent utha raha hai cultivate kar raha hai ko train kar raha hai theater backgrounds pe meri apni film pe jo to mere actors hain saudi hai I mean, uh, everything you see in the front, most of them are all Arabs and Saudis. And uh, uh, one of them was a theatre background actress, who uh, ke yahan pe jada mein there's a theatre institute. So right now there is a, all these platforms and infrastructures for them to be trained, for them to learn, for them to uh, basically just get on that level. Just me. I mean, uh, then the sky is the limit for them right now. So, and and for us right now, it's basically us collaborating with them, us coming in, you know, that these people know what they're doing now, uh, but they still want, they they still don't know everything. They still they still are in the learning phase, and that's a good thing because then it gives us the path to basically then teach them. and and jo hum log hain jo experience kar rahe hain jo experience nahi hai jo amateurs aa rahe hain beginners aa rahe hain people are still in the learning phase um wo log hain jo ke right now are in a very good point to collaborate with them and and basically earn the trust just like they are the trust building stages chal rahe hain hamare um overcoming cultural language barriers uh, very much so i would say ke jo aapke uh, saudi mein 
and in the Middle East, Arabic is the primary language of content consumption. English is number two. Uh, all the Saudi Netflix or Amazon Prime or they Arabic is number Arabic one and English is, is number two. Uh, English is number two, Arabic is number one. And which is why, I mean, I, I took the risk of, I, I, I made the, my first uh, Arabic film, which was my last one, which was a Saudi film festival. It was Arabic. And uh, um, uh, I mean, my questions can wait when I have a QA session over how did I pull that off while not being very fluent in Arabic? I do speak Arabic, but not at the level where you have a cultural uh, film, which Saudis So uh, it, it was a very fine line to walk on. Like, in, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hold that off on the QA session. But yeah, Arabic is the primary language. Achha, how do you There's no doubt about it. Oh, okay, uh, just let me go to the next slide. <clears throat> that's not just waste time. Uh, waste time here is going to be masla. Uh, the fourth, uh, mm-hmm. that slide is about. Uh, funding and opportunities for grants for Pakistani filmmakers specifically and how do we reach out to the Saudi government or Saudi production houses being in Pakistan what are the opportunities for us like if we have a base of short films or we have features in features etc etc so how do we reach out to uh, people in Saudi Arabia like how do we connect with them with them mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. so, so uh, basically right now the thing is that it's just a matter of talking. Like you just call them up, set them a meeting, talk to them, um, and and sit with them on your vision. Like if you want to collaborate, the first thing is if you're approaching them, they're gonna ask you. If you're approaching them, so when you approach them, the tables have turned. But when you're approaching them, you are in the um, in in a weaker spot. Let's just say. And that's when you have to really show your, your skills. You, you show your portfolio. That's your first impression. Aapka portfolio, aapka experience is strong enough to, to be able to even survive here. And, uh, and then they'd definitely be asking you like, uh, right now industry and the, the industry is being made right now so I would say that uh, in in order to approach them it's your work it's 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 your work it's the make or break director or filmmaker it's your showreel aap cinematographer ho aapka cinematography show reel hai aap ek kya kehte hain production designer ho aapka production design show reel hai you will need to show your work yahan pe baaton se itna kaam nahi chalega yahan pe ye these people are the kind of people that i've known them for 23 years now is that ye 5 minute mein apni decisions karte ho 5 minute gaye no matter how good you are after they don't care they know ke 5 minutes aapke paas agar portfolio bhi strong nahi hai lekin aapne unko koi spark dikha diya ki you are about to do something they will invest in you, they will come to you, they, they will see something. So it's a matter of five minutes. You know, literally the first impression, the last impression, elevated pitch. This is what works here. So this is the kind of vibe that's going on. Quick decision making, really quick decision making. And you really have to have everything ready in those five minutes. Basically, this uh, sort of ends the. This was the last slide. Mm-hmm. Hello. Yeah. I think delay. Uh, there's a delay there, right? Ah, uh, no. I'm just talking. Acha, acha. Nee, no delay. Nee. Acha, acha. Acha. So this was so basically. I mean, it needs. It needs a short session. Like, I know. Uh, there are very less members in the uh, in the group, but again, this is recorded. So uh, we can discuss now. whatever it is that we want to discuss about Saudi Arabia filmmaking, or secondly, which is a fund release where government guy would. I rather talk about that. It's a lot cool. Laga wo, lekin ab uska that, uh, that, that is that is something. That is something. 
इंटरनेशनली कुछ खुली हुई है you from pakistan sitting down without coming into saudi can actually apply for it that's the good part red sea is a red sea uh, film fund is the main one so you guys need to look into that red sea film fund is the one on ki website pe sari details hain they they uh, they fund your pre production they fund your production they fund your post production they do have certain criteria certain funds in certain situations will only apply to people who are in saudi they will not give it to anyone from outside uh, but there is a catch there is a loophole if you partner with someone who is in saudi and you go through them you get you get considered so for example if i uh, if i have a company here uh, i can become or anyone else who has a company in, in saudi you can use that to be the bridge in order to get into the fund there are like i said majority of them will require you to be a saudi or have a saudi resident entity um so that that is something jo ke i think is a loophole bahut log samajhte hain oh ji ye ye log tere ko unko denge to saudi mein baithe hue hain uh ya phir saudi nationals ko denge but that's not really the case there are various ways one can get in if you really have a good idea if you really know what you're doing if you really have everything planned film alula is another one neom ka apna ithra ka apna which is uh, aramco and uh, saudi film festival ka apna or dao is another one which is with the film commission so these are all those open opportunities and um, i myself am preparing to pitch to a few nice nice that that's awesome ऐसम वुड यू बी विलिंग टू शेयर मे बी रेड सी के अलावा रेड सी का तो लिंक आई थिंक हम गूगल पे लिख लें बट लाइक वुड यू बी विलिंग टू शेयर द इंफॉर्मेशन कि कौन कौन सी एग्जैक्टली लाइक फिल्म फेस्टिवल्स हैं क्योंकि दिस इज लाइक नो बुलेट बुलेट पॉइंट लेस दे दूंगा बट टू बी ऑनेस्ट फिल्म फेस्टिवल सिर्फ दो रेड सी एंड साउदी देयर इज नॉट अ थर्ड वन और फंडिंग व्हेन कम्स टू फंडिंग फंडिंग चार से पांच है चार से पांच है अच्छा तो बस अगर उनके के में नाम या उनके लिंक्स या इस तरह की कोई चीज मिल जाए वे वी कैन लाइक मैं नाम मैं नाम हां मैं नाम भेज दूंगा यू गाइस कैन देन जस्ट गूगल दोस नेम्स वो ट्रेडमार्क फ्रेंड्स हैं सो दे विल शो अप परफेक्ट परफेक्ट नाउ आई थिंक वी कैन गो इनटू द क्वेश्चंस दैट्स वाइज um yes again mera question yahi tha about the language ke yahan pe because you are a pakistani filmmaker and you go into saudi and work on maybe a film so how do you navigate the language barrier you said that you will go into detail about how you made your film so maybe that can answer some yeah questions. yeah i think i think that is a very realistic use case so basically uh, what happened was when i came up with the idea of course i wrote the screenplay in english main screenplay in english mein likha tha it was in screenplay format kya uh, kehte final draft mein sara kuch bana hua tha and uh, once once i did that uh, because of my connections and everything i knew arabic writers i knew saudi writers but i needed a saudi writer who was not only local and had very good arabic from a contextual standpoint because he had to know very good english as well and there's not many of them so apparently i was lucky enough to have worked with a guy for four years who actually had theater writing background experience in in both arabic and english he was trained in that so he, he's a good friend of mine so i just called him up and basically we sat for days in in when this was getting developed um and the process was ke he had my english script and then he had another copy of an arabic version action lines aapki english mein thi dialogues ko sirf change kar raha tha and he was not translating them i sat with him on every line every scene every dialogue from a more deeper standpoint for example process mein raha tha ke when we discussed a scene like for example scene number 1 opening scene you know uh, if you guys have seen the trailer 
uh, you know the man is sitting in a cafe and he's writing something so script pe wo likha hua hai but then what he would ask me and this is how you can work with uh, you know non native uh, language uh, script writers is that he would say kear what did you want to get out of this scene what was the end game and maine kaha the end end game of the opening scene is establishing ke he is looking at a girl who's waiting at him back and he likes her but then his wife is working in the office and she doesn't know what he's doing and then his wife's friend ends up seeing this happen and she whatsapps uh, his wife that's it and he was like what is he going through manika he's going through a certain attraction but then at the same time he's scared like he might be cheating usne kaha acha uh what about uh, the uh, what about the friend manika friend is uh, the sneaky one she's the one jo sari spark karegi fire between these two uh acha then ek ek dialogue pe we started going and he was like acha when he's when he says this what does he mean contextual meaning wo translate nahi kar raha although he understands the dialogue completely he is a native english speaker as well wo khud america ka padha hua usse english perfect tha the the thing was meaning meaning behind the dialogue meaning behind the scene meaning behind the line and that is what got him into writing native arabic for that dialogue and that was a complete process from start to end it took us about 7 days to convert the whole film culturally and contextually bahut sare aise scenes the jo maine likhe the from a more american standpoint and he said he saudi mein nahi chalta saudi mein ye nahi hoga the important point and that is something to the amount of detail jahan pe log jate hain this is for other upcoming writers to work on in a different culture maine likha tha ke wo baap ke sath uski ladai hoti hai aur phone wo kaat deta hai kehta hai ye nahi likhna मैंने कहा क्यों मैंने कहा लड़ाई जब होती है पाकिस्तान में अगर गुस्सा आ जाए हम कभी कभी फोन काट देते हो तो कहते हैं नहीं ये नहीं चलेगा इधर बाप का फोन नहीं काटना मैंने कहा कितना बड़ा पंगा होगा अगर मैंने सीन शूट कर दिया कहता है पीपल विल थ्रो शिट ऑन योर स्क्रीन मैंने कहा नहीं लिटरल कैन वी डू एनीथिंग लाइक दिस के वो गुस्सा है और बाप से वो ये कहता है नहीं बाप के साथ नहीं चलेगा माँ के साथ भी नहीं चलेगा मैंने कहा इसको कैसे करेंगे मुझे तो तो अल्टरकेशन दिखानी है तुम तो बहुत सेफ नहीं कर रहे हो इधर मेरे साथ कहते हैं ऐसा करो लास्ट वर्ड उसको कुछ कहने दो और फिर उसको बंद करने दो मा सलामा मा सलामा या इस तरह की कोई बात क्या कहते हैं मतलब कुछ ऐसा करने दो कोई ऐसा वर्ड कहते हैं हम खोजेंगे जो कि वो एंड पे कहेगा फिर फोन कट करेगा कि मेरे दूसरे साइन ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट ये चीज है इनकी कल्चर में माँ बाप की रिस्पेक्ट तरीके से हैंडल कैसे करना है दीज आर सर्टिन कल्चरल रेड लाइन जो कि आपको पता नहीं चाहिए तो दैट इज वॉट आई वॉज आई वॉज सींग एंड दिस इज आई थिंक द राइटिंग प्रोसेस विद अनदर कल्चर एंड हाउ डिड यू गो अबाउट डायरेक्टिंग दिस सीन क्योंकि राइटिंग इज डिफरेंट एंड वेन यू डायरेक्टिंग विद एक्टर्स तो डिड यू गेट द कॉन्टेक्ट उनकी परफॉर्मेंस में से Uh, so, so the good thing again was that sorry, uh, sorry about this. Uh, basically call jo hai usme beech mein na wo hai ji 10 it says 10 minutes mein call ho jayegi to if you want to talk more nahi nahi wo has to study i'll share another link wo ek aur link generate kar lega i think i think it's something nice ke everyone is getting getting a little bit of insight into this i hope it's helpful whatever i'm saying is helpful मैंने कहा सदार आई थिंक इन ऑर्डर टू मेक श्योर के बीच में कोई कट ऑफ ना हो कैन यू जस्ट जनरेट द लिंक राइट नाउ देन वी कैन इजीली टेंशन फ्री कंटिन्यू लेट्स लेट्स डू दैट राइट नाउ आई जनरेट अ लिंक और मैं फिल्मा बाद पे शेयर कर रहा हूं काइंडली जॉइन हां अभी जनरेट कर दो आई डोंट वांट के बाद के बीच में कोई कट ऑफ हो जाए एवरीवन गेट्स वो भी इंग्लिश अच्छी बोलता है एंड उसके साथ तो मैं पूरी स्क्रिप्ट के थ्रू गया था सो मैंने कहा कि अगर कोई इशू हुआ जब वो टेक कर रहे हैं जस्ट सिग्नल दे and that is how i kind of got to know ke arabic mein jab wo dum se tez bol rahe ho sara kuch chal raha hai could pick a lot of things in but wo sari cheeze maybe i did it i missed it out he would catch it and and that's where because he's a director himself and everything he was my ad before uh in most of my projects and i brought him in as a co director and and basically he was the one who was telling me this trend work unhone ye kaha is combine ye ho gaya unhone ye kaha meaning change ho gaya 
एंड दैट्स हाउ आई गॉट टू नो दैट्स हाउ एग्जैक्टली गॉट टू नो कि मेरे मेरी डायरेक्शन जो मैंने दी है वो इधर जा रही है या इधर जा रही है सो टू काइंड ऑफ कीप इट इन लाइन and then definitely you do have a lot more takes you will do a lot more takes because of that um but it's not impossible baat hai it's not impossible yeah uh, i think uh, um, i think if you get like some sort of funding from saudi arab sabse best ye hai ki you just hire an interpreter or uh, you, you hire yes you hire, of course you hire yes. like a consultant jo ki aapko saudi arab ki culture ke bare mein batae ki acha yaar matlab ye cheez nahi ya on set like agar aap kuch bol rahe hain to you know he's there to interpreted with with the uh, uh, yeah yeah like uh, ye zarur hai ki uh, i did it on on a very tight budget jahan pe maine बेसिकली क्या कहते हैं सारा अपना पैसा लगाया था बीच में एंड उसमें मुझे इंटरप्रेटर के लिए हायर करने की जरूरत इसलिए नहीं थी बिकॉज माई को डायरेक्टर वो जरा मेरा स्क्रिप्ट राइटर भी ऑन सेट था एज ए स्क्रिप्ट सुपरवाइजर सो आई ब्रॉट माई राइटर ऑल्सो एज ए स्क्रिप्ट सुपरवाइजर जिसने हेडफोन लगाए हुए थे और वो बीच में बैठा हुआ था इन ऑर्डर टू ऑल्सो एनालाइज द डायलॉग क्योंकि उसने अरबिक डायलॉग सीखे थे तो ये एग्जैक्टली नो कि अगर इम्प्रोवाइजेशन हो रही है तो कहाँ पर गलत हो रही है डायलॉग इधर जा रहा है कहाँ जा रहा है एक इधर हुआ है क्यों हुआ है एंड मी हिम एंड मरवान वी वर द थ्री डिसीजन मेकर्स ऑन की लैंग्वेज साइड पे कैसे किया वो दो थे मैं उनकी पे रिलाई करता था एंड देन आई वुड मेक द डिसीजन टू हाउ टू चेंज इट एंड देन दे वन माय लेफ्ट एंड राइट आर्म इन ऑल टू मेक श्योर दैट अच्छा सो दैट्स द कोलैबोरेशन आई थिंक जी हसीब यू हैड यू हैव अ क्वेश्चन Yeah, I I want to dig more into it because we're talking about right now. You're talking about the direction right now, but what about the uh, cinematographer and the, how did you get into that? Because again, that you know that comes into play a lot. Let me always just say, I've been talking about that. Ah, was sorry, clear. I couldn't uh, hear you. That's a lot of noise. Hmm. Well, there is noise. Uh, Can you guys hear me now? I think I think uh, they are. Can you uh, mute your mic? Maybe it's from there yeah. or somewhere. Yeah. So uh, I was saying uh, about the the uh, like the interaction okay. with the photographer and the production design because that's come into play a lot. Uh, the thing is, K, it's all international in terms of the approach of it. Completely international. The 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 vibe of how. A film needs to look like it has to look like a film. यहाँ पे I think that is the get go जो सीधा Hollywood से आया, सीधा international filmmaking से आया. आह यहाँ पे बहुत सारे Saudis हैं जो नहीं आते Academy या UCLA या NYU यहाँ से आए हुए हैं वो बाइक से बाकी साल जो हैं. So they brought all that Hollywood aesthetic. They kind of established that part. Um, from a uh, director working with a cinematographer, again the good thing was. all my crew was english speaking while still being arabs and saudis i specifically picked people who were good at what they did language barrier bhi nahi tha and they understood my vision or cinematographer jo tha especially meri uske sath hi baat chal rahi thi ke um kyunki i mean clear cut saudi is no different from cinematography standpoint with hollywood koi fark nahi hai that is how they expected that's how it needs to happen uh from a कल्चरल स्टैंड पॉइंट जब आप बाहर शूट करते हैं इट्स अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी बिकॉज जब आप बाहर शूट कर रहे हैं यू नीड परमिट्स अदरवाइज यू गेट कॉट बाय द पुलिस एंड यू गो टू जेल और यू बी स्मार्ट एनफ टू स्टील द शॉर्ट्स वी कॉल इट स्टीलिंग हियर परमिट्स के बगैर ऑल दो परमिट दो सौ चार सौ का आ जाता है आई हैड द परमिट्स बट देर वन और टू सिचुएशन वेर आई स्टोल माई शॉर्ट्स by by having two people at the end of the street looking out for cops while i shot it in the middle of the street that's how i stole shots or that was near hilton and hilton has massive security because yahan pe hilton ke paas shoot karna is is a major feat and we ended up shooting on the side of hilton meri meri dono film ko apne hilton pe shoot kiya hai is is because that's an iconic place for me so i've kind of integrated it into all of my films so i always steal the shot there wahan ka permit nahi milta so i steal shots there by getting two cars in my people are in those cars we get out we shoot we get back and we run that's how it is to so, uh, pakistani again i'm pakistani and thoda to karenge na pakistani mein 
तो दैट्स हाउ वी काइंड ऑफ काइंड ऑफ प्ले तो यहां पे सिनेमेटोग्राफी वाइज आई होप दैट आंसर्स योर क्वेश्चन इंटरनेशनल एस्थेटिक नेसेसरी है एंड व्हाट अबाउट प्रोडक्शन डिजाइन उनको क्या लाइक उनको क्या प्रोडक्शन डिजाइन प्रोडक्शन डिजाइन में दे वांट अ ब्लेंड बिटवीन अगेन कंटेम्पोरेरी अमेरिकन क्योंकि यहां पे अमेरिकन इन्फ्लुएंस बहुत ज्यादा है temporary american uh, production design mixed with some cultural aspects inki jo saudi color schemes hai inki saudi fabric prints hai inki paintings hai desert paintings is tarah ki jo cheeze bani hui hain they want to mix it with that so ye apna blend bana rahe hain theek hai aur mera production designer yahan pe yummy hai but he's been here for 25 years also wo meri tarah hai we have a similar background hai ke pade hue idhar aa gaye Uh, we are one of those who are both young over say either hai so we we gelled in that aspect he works with that season he works with huge players so he came on board i i got him the script maine kaha yaar up to you you charge me 10000 rupees or you charge me 2000 rupees i don't i can't say that he's a professional and then he he read the script he got back to me two days ago uh, two days later and he said i'm doing it for free maine kaha why the hell and he said because you're writing for us creatives tumhari story mein ek creative character hai jo ki ek loss ke through ja raha hai of tagos kehte meri life mein ho chuka kehte it's like i am working on a film that is like my biography to kehte ki is cheez ke liye yahan pe creatives aise sochte hain when they get inspired in 5 minutes they will call you and say main paise bhi nahi le raha main film pe aa raha this is what happens 5 minutes either they will charge you 10000 rupees or they will charge you zero so i got a lot of those people that are high professionals just by inspiring them and he always said to me he always said ke aise yahan pe koi bhi kaam koi bhi tumhare pakistani yahan se aake wahan se karenge na idhar ek baat hamesha bata dena hai ke saudiya mein it's all about right now ke tum kiski kiski personal story ko touch kar rahe ho kya wo apne aap ko isme dekh sakta hai ke अगर उसने अपने आप को उसमें देख लिया वो तुम्हारे लिए यहाँ पे रेड कार्पेट खोल देगा तो मैंने जब कहा ना जॉनरा का हिट हो रहा है सोसाइटल टफ दिस इज दैट सोसाइटल पर्सनल ड्रिवन रिलेटेड स्टोरी अच्छा जी डू यू थिंक आर देयर एनी लाइक वेबसाइट्स और ग्रुप्स दैट वी कैन जॉइन जा के एंड जहां पे सऊदी फिल्म का सीन है थोड़ा मतलब फेसबुक ग्रुप्स आई डोंट नो समथिंग फॉर 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 अस टू कनेक्ट विद देम मतलब बी बेशक बहुत छोटे लेवल पे बेशक इट्स जस्ट लाइक यू नो शेयरिंग योर स्टफ इस वक्त मतलब नॉट इवन लाइक आस्किंग फॉर ग्रांट्स से बहुत बड़ा वो नहीं जस्ट टू यू नो लाइक अनफॉर्चूनेटली नथिंग अनफॉर्चूनेटली नथिंग नथिंग लाइक दैट येट यहां पे मैंने बहुत खोज निकाली है in order to kind of see ke yahan ka koi group hai kuch nahi nahi these are all these events that are the groups ye festival events ye forums jo abhi main us embassy ke forum pe gaya hu personal close invitation they are only uh, bringing in established filmmakers from various countries jo ke saudi arabia mein so unfortunately join especially for people who so acha yahan pe achhi baat ye hai ke Indians have done nothing but we are doing something. बात ये है कि यहाँ पे Indians have not entered yet. यहाँ पे from a local standpoint making Arabic films or anything with these people, um, I'm I'm glad to have beaten them beaten them to this punch. So that's a proud moment for us. Actually, I should care. वो इधर नहीं घुसे. वो दुबई में घुसे हैं. इधर नहीं घुसे. और दूसरी बात ये है कि when it comes to working with production houses and everything. अगेन बात आ जाती है कनेक्शन की यहाँ पे इफ यू वर्किंग एज समथिंग ऑफ एन एम्प्लॉय स्टेटस चांसेस कम है फॉर फॉर पाकिस्तानी चांसेस कम है एज ए जॉब एज एन एम्प्लॉय बिकॉज ऑफ दी अरेबिक स्पीकिंग इशू दे विल ओनली हायर यू इफ यू स्पीक अरेबिक और यू नो द कल्चर दे विल नॉट ब्रिंग एनी वन फ्रॉम आउटसाइड मेयर अनलेस यूर ऑलरेडी हियर यू कैन वर्क विद दैम नॉट एज दैन मे बी एन एम्प्लॉय बट मोर एज ए कंसल्टेंट एज अ फ्री लांसर एज अ कलाबोरेटर अब मैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर मैं सिर्फ अपनी बात करूँ आई नॉट एट दैट लेवल एन यू मोर आई यूज टू बी आई हैव डन दैट मैं फ्री लांस करता था मैं इवेंट कवरेज कैमरे से भी शूट करता था आई समाइम्स क्या कहते हैं अगर कोई बहुत बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट आ गया दैन 
मैं सोचता हूँ वाई नॉट आई जस्ट शूट माई सेल्फ क्या कहते हैं मतलब इट्स इट्स ईजी बट बट नाउ आई थिंक थिंग्स हैव चेंज्ड यू नो आई वर्क एज अ प्रोड्यूसर आई वर्क एज अ डायरेक्टर आई वर्क एज सम वन जो एक कंसल्टेंट लेवल पे आई एम राइट नाउ वर्किंग एज अ कंसल्टेंट फॉर अ मीडिया प्रोडक्शन कंपनी टू एज काइंड ऑफ अ बोर्ड मेंबर सो बेसिकली आई एम मेकिंग श्योर के इंटरनेशनल प्रोसेसेस वो यूटिलाइज करें वो अपनी स्ट्रेटजीज ठीक रखें इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम एन बिकम अ मेजर प्लेयर इन द प्रोडक्शन हाउस दिस ईयर so i I've, i've started working at that level now so but i was a freelancer before and i think 90% of pakistani jo hai they still in that i think if you're looking at me don't think that's the norm that is not the norm uh, there's many people here who i know that are talented there is a couple of directors and producers pakistani uh, that i have met but they don't stand for too long because i i guess it's just a matter of trust um people yahan pe i'm going to just say straight up people have this perception of you that because you're not an arab you're an asian you might not understand us you might not understand the culture you might not you don't understand the language how can you make something that is culturally relevant because that's what their aim is so alhamdulillah from this point on i think that game has changed after my film job so the film festival gave that game is changed that finally after that recognition that i've gotten i am now having calls from saudis telling me please come do this with us so the perception now has changed history has taken a turn now i feel that it's not going to be that much of a barrier but it was it was a major barrier in right now it's not but definitely you need help everyone needs help everyone needs time to integrate or yahan pe uh things are going to get easier now and like i'm telling you i'm working on a few things which i cannot disclose but they are on decision making levels now i'm talking film commission i'm talking culture i'm talking film production key players who yahan pe own karte hain festivals red sea ki management There are a couple of things I'm working on that again they are very high level top secret that I cannot disclose but I can say that if those things happen you might see some very historical changes happening in Saudi for us Pakistani specifically that's what I'm working on Yeah you have a question Um I don't have a question lekin messi mera ek comment hai ke I think पूरे इस प्रोसेस के अंदर देर आर लॉट ऑफ चैलेंजेस फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग के आपने पिच करना है लैंग्वेज बैरियर है कल्चरल डिफरेंस है देन डायरेक्टिंग बी डिफिकल्ट एडिटिंग स्पेशली माइट बी डिफिकल्ट क्योंकि आपने वो कॉन्टेक्स्ट जो आप चाह रहे हो उसमें से निकालना दैट्स गोना बी डिफिकल्ट बट गोइंग थ्रू ऑल दिस कॉन्वर्जेशन आई थिंक वी एज पाकिस्तानी हैव द बेस्ट चांस ओवर एनी अदर रीजन या किसी से भी तो आई थिंक वो हमारा एक अपर हैंड है कि पाकिस्तानी हैव द बेस्ट चांस ऑफ डूइंग समथिंग इंडिया या कोई और मिडिल ईस्ट इधर तो राइट नाउ इट इज राइट नाउ इट इज बिकॉज़ दे वी हैव देखो वी हैव वेरी क्लोज टाइज विद देम फ्रॉम ए रीजनल स्टैंड पॉइंट एज वेल आवर कंट्रीज आर वेरी क्लोज टुगेदर तो एक सेंस ऑफ ट्रस्ट है ऑलरेडी यू नो बहुत सारे हमारे टाइज हैं उनके साथ बायलैटरल टाइज हमारे हैं so it really does help but then after that then after this whole thing jo buzz up chal rahi hai about sukoon and about everything this is now set pakistanis have gotten in pakistanis can do this a trust develop ho gaya right now all the people that knew me for years suddenly say ke kya kehte hai yaar if people there are more people like you please connect connect them with us So right now I feel we do have the best chance because if I compare it to the other industries, I was talking this with with an American actually uh, yesterday, and uh, uh, he was from uh, with uh, in a party at in Indian Pictures, and he told me that you guys have the best shot in Saudi because of a couple of things. पहले तो ये कि इंडिया का जो Bollywood है वो हर जगह घुसा हुआ है Saudi mein nahi ghusaka because of the again the language and the cultural barrier both two major barriers as a language nahi culture bhi hai it's too different teesri cheez ye ke there's um, 
ए हॉलीवुड की इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑलरेडी शुरू से इधर है दैट इज गोइंग टू बी एविडेंट देर ऑल ओवर द प्लेस राइट नाउ वी आर नॉट कम्पीटिंग विद दम बात ये वी आर नॉट कम्पीटिंग विद दम बट वी आर गोइंग टू कलेबोरेट विद दम दैट इज आवर थिंग बिकॉज सऊदीज आर कलेबोरेटिंग विद दम एज वेल दे आर यूजिंग द रिसोर्स दे आर लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस एवरीथिंग सो सो हैव वी टूर दुबई में वी हैव नो चांस लेट्स जस्ट फॉरगेट अबाउट इट Dubai mein Indians have taken over and Hollywood. Hollywood Tom Cruise ki film udhar shoot hui hai. It's a reason because UAE is the the vacation spot of the UAE right now. Uh, of 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 the Middle East. Then your question comes up when you go to Europe. European films, French films, German, Italian. These are all Europeans. They have taken over themselves. They don't need anyone. Hollywood saturated. It's difficult for Gorong to find a place to find a place to find. I I know I talk to a lot of people in New York. They are suffering. They are coming here. The Middle East market, my Saudis, the top right now because they have the biggest funding, they have the biggest resources, they have the biggest money, they have the biggest uh, programs, they have the biggest initiatives, and they have two of the biggest festivals in the whole Middle East: Saudi Film Festival and Red Sea. There is not a festival like this to comparable here Middle East. Me up, up. Ki me baat karo. पहले जब रेड सी और सऊदी स्टार्ट हुआ था तब दे वर नॉट एज गुड एज दी अदर फेस्टिवल इन दिन द मिडल ईस्ट कायरो इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट द रेन वॉज वेरी गुड दुबई में इज ऑल्सो गुड बट जो अब हुआ है ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू और जो अब ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री में होने वाला है सऊदी फिल्म फेस्टिवल तो अब हो गया रेड सी आने वाला है टॉप स्पॉट ना मिडल ईस्ट में राइट नाउ इट्स अनटैप्ड ओपन ग्राउंड टू प्ले कोई नहीं आया अभी Hollywood पहले भी घुसा हुआ था बट असाइड फ्रॉम दैम एंड साउथ ईस्ट थर्ड कॉर्न नो वन बट वहाँ पे डोंट यू थिंक अभी इन्होंने इंडियंस को काफी इनिशिएटिव दिया जैसे हर्ट के डंकी जो है वहाँ पे शूट हुई है एंड देन देर मोर नहीं दैट्स नथिंग दैट्स अ वन वन फ्लिक वन फायर वर्क वन लाइटिंग इन अ बॉटल सिचुएशन एंड देन गॉड इतना इतना ज्यादा नहीं है बिकॉज अगेन सिर्फ लैंग्वेज नहीं है कल्चर डिफरेंसेस भी बहुत मेजर है उनकी स्टाइल ऑफ फिल्म्स इनको सूट नहीं करती दे डोंट रियली नाउ जो अब बॉलीवुड की फिल्में बन रही है ना व्हाट आई एम हियरिंग फ्रॉम सऊदीज दे डोंट लाइक दम इट्स टू इट्स टू चीप अब वो कहते हैं उनके वर्ड से निकलता है चीप सो आई मीन Yeah, I've never yeah. seen a, never seen a Saudi film, but uh, I kind of have this assumption that they are more towards like this kind of Iran films. Yes, they are getting to that now. They finally have gotten to that. Because before they were like this, but now their funding is so strong that they can actually end up making international films. Now, some of the films they've seen, they shot it in London, they shot it in New York, they shot it in Riyadh, they shot multiple countries, multiple cities. So they they have that push. एक आम सी शॉर्ट फिल्म इधर इज बींग फंडेड विदाउट एनीथिंग फ्रॉम द पॉकेट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन हाउस बाय अराउंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रैम वी आर टॉकिंग मोर देन फोर्टी फाइव लैख रुपीज फॉर अ शॉर्ट फिल्म एंड फॉर अ फीचर फिल्म वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टू थ्री हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टू फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टू टू मिलियन टू फाइव मिलियन टू थ्री मिलियन नंबर्स We are we are talk, talking. A feature film ke liye karoro am si baat hai. Koi VFX ni, koi kuch ni, nothing like that. We're just talking for a one one hour, one and a half hour feature film, and we're talking yahan pe jeb mein das karoro rakhte the, and they're like, ye low budget feature das karoro. This is the scale. Nice. So I I think the best course of action is that you make a short film, you submit it to their festival, so they recognize you. and recognize your talent and fair up tap in kar sakte ho in that industry but yes that, that is the procedure is, i went but my question is that does that short film need to be in arabic in order to get that recognition is it meri meri first uh, jo red sea mein meri short film gayi thi wo english mein thi no it doesn't need to be in arabic It's gonna get far more favorability if it's a little bit. मतलब थोड़े नंबर ज़्यादा हैं उसके क्या अरबी में तो थोड़े नंबर ज़्यादा हैं ना मतलब यही है ना हाँ अरबी में थोड़े नंबर ज़्यादा हैं इंग्लिश में थोड़े नंबर ज़्यादा हैं उर्दू में काफी कम हैं वैसे भी हाँ artificial intelligence is getting better and better or 
आपने देखा भी होगा दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली ट्रांसलेट और चेंज द वे द एक्ट्रेस आई डिड दैट आई डिड दैट वी शुड सेट द सेशन वी शुड सेट द सेशन नेक्स्ट वीक ऑन एआई एंड लाइक एआई इन फिल्म मेकिंग बट आई वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई हैव डन दैट एक्चुअली राइट नाउ आई एम पिचिंग अ प्रोजेक्ट टोटली प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय एआई राइट नाउ I I use I use Dali to make journey creativity all of it. This is a discussion जो पाकिस्तानी filmmakers तो बहुत पीछे हैं इसमें I have never seen anybody discuss it मतलब AI जितना ज़्यादा part play कर रहा है चीज़ों में मतलब और चीज़ें मतलब आगे की तरफ अभी अभी मैं अभी मैं जो feature film लिख रहा हूँ जो मैं पाकिस्तान में करना चाहता हूँ it's my magnum opus it's my dream project जो मैं पाकिस्तान में करना चाहता हूँ मैं सोच रहा हूँ मैंने देखा I I had a couple of people approaching me for this. I was like, "Hey, okay, I mean, you can fund the project for this summer. So you have to come to Pakistan to do this. You will. I I I will not do this in Arabic. This this is a big one, and that is something that has a lot of AI's help with it when it comes to uh, uh, storyboarding, moodboarding. I have to make images on moodboard based on my screenplay. So, I have perfected the process, kar li hai, and that's what I'm also helping the media production company to uh, pre-production department. Me, uh, eight, five, 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 five. AI, even, I mean, like not just with editing, like AI, um, pre, se, po, like post, me, bahut zada, I mean, look, AI, wohi hai, it's the same software, but like using extensions, like we have better extensions now. So, podcast ke editing ka aa gaya na wo. podcast ke editing ka bhi aa. Ye presentation jo maine banayi hai, this is using AI, right? Like I don't write this shit anymore. कौन सी वाली टॉम टॉम गिव इट सम क्वेश्चंस और वो बाकी खुद बनाता है और मतलब माय लाइफ इज लाइक सो मच इजीयर मैं भी और टॉम डॉट एआई आई डू टॉम डॉट एआई जीपीटी सब कुछ लिखता है मेरे लिए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स बना के दे रहा है मुझे कोई मेरा कॉन्ट्रैक्ट होता है आई इट टेक्स लाइक अ मिनट टू डू दिस सेम 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 प्री प्रोडक्शन में हमने सारा अप्लाई कर दिया जरा बेसिकली अ गुड असिस्टेंट टू हैव या 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 मैं मैं शॉर्टलिस्ट बनाई है आई आई डिड आई डिड अ शॉर्टलिस्ट डेफिनेटली फ्रॉम एआई You can even like give uh, give ChatGPT your entire script and be like, yeah, uh, can you please uh, uh, remove the prop and make me a prop list? No, I mean, no, 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 no So the crazy work, I love your work, Prakriti. Great to meet you, man. Internet have on Bluetooth. नहीं नहीं, I'm I'm actually glad कि जितने भी लोग हैं इधर मुझे इन सब पर खुशी ये है कि there is interest. Finally कोई कोई लोग हैं जो अपना वक्त दे रहे हैं और जिनको जिनको कोई interest है और कुछ कुछ जानना चाह रहे हैं कुछ करना चाह रहे हैं ज़िंदगी में यार motivation तो नहीं कुछ नहीं होने वाला. ये मैंने दे दे दी है मोटिवेशन भी है पैशन भी है मोटिवेशन है पैशन है भूख है जाना है लेकिन मुझे 10 11 साल हो गए फिल्म में मैंने पूरी दुनिया में अब कर ली है लेकिन सही बात तो खुआरी खुआरी होती है मोटिवेशन ही आपको खुआरी के थ्रू लेकर जाती है वरना आप सरवाइव ही करोगे यू विल नॉट सरवाइव अ डे अह फर्टिलिटी आई थिंक तुमने जो अपना थीसिस बनाया था ऑन द द कोल माइंस वाला जो था वेयर वेयर इज दैट कोल माइन के ऊपर था वो बेसिकली स्टोरी थी कोल माइन इंसिडेंट तो मैं दिखा ही रहा था uh, कहानी है कि कोल माइनिंग इंसिडेंट्स में साल में सौ दो सौ बंदा ऑन एवरेज जाता है तो कहानी इस बारे में नहीं थी वो बंदा जिस तरह वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स आवर्स है उस तरह का मेरा थोड़ा सा इंस्पिरेशन थी फिल्म को देखे कि वो बंदा फंसा हुआ है धमाका हुआ हुआ है जो मेन कैरेक्टर है वो फंसा हुआ है लेकिन कहानी इस बारे में थी कि वो निकलता है या नहीं निकलता है इससे कोई गर्ज नहीं था कहानी का कहानी थी कि वो वहां तक पहुंचते कैसे हैं क्या वजूहत होती है जिसकी वजह से वो वहां तक पहुंचते हैं और वो कहानी फिर पूरी हो उसके अलावा अच्छा एंड दैट रिमाइंड्स मी यार डॉक जो डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म मेकर्स हैं अमंग अस इन द ग्रुप प्लीज अप्लाई टू द रेड सी दे दीस पीपल रियली वांट टू वॉच different countries documentaries to really open up on the the culture aspect of our country as well pakistanis ka agar koi preference hai sabse zyada documentaries hai wahan pe funding bhi zyada hogi aur wahan pe let me tell you uh, they are after this they are they they are really really interested acha but i realized in the film making realm mai ek yahan pe ek hello sorry yeah sorry i am i have a dog <laughs> 
I think accidental. Achha, haan, sorry, I think accidental ho gaya. Achha, uh, sorry, uh, I just lost my chain of thought. Um, you were saying Pakistan mein. Sorry, documentary film making ki baat kare thi. I realized that uh, jo bhi international projects hote hain, theek hai. Usme I've seen ki jitne bhi mulk hain, wo uh, unka jo ek agenda hota hai ki you know ham apna culture dikhaye. Isse Pakistan ka ek agenda hai, theek hai. Wo Dubai Expo mein ya isme ham log bichne hain chine. तो इसमें ऑलमोस्ट हर मुल्क का है वो इसको बहुत ज्यादा अपने एजेंडा पे बहुत पैसा लगाते हैं तो ये जो भी आपने बात की डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म मेकिंग की आई थिंक पाकिस्तानी शुड कंसीडर दिस मोर देन लाइक फिक्शन फिल्म व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट दैट यस आई 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 एग्री दे शुड कंसीडर दिस मोर बिकॉज़ दिस इज एन इजीर एंट्री पॉइंट एंड मोर मोर दिस इज एन इजीर फॉर गेटिंग अ फंडिंग एज़ वेल मतलब या बिकॉज़ दैट द ग्रांट्स विल कम लेटर आफ्टर द ट्रस्ट So this will set up the trust. Or documentaries, pay funding, ज़्यादा chances हैं मिलने के. Fiction wise, definitely it's a little uphill battle. Like अगर documentaries पे हम इन्हों हो सकते हैं तो that's going to be faster. मेरे end से, I mean I'm not a documentary filmmaker. I am a fictional, uh, you know, uh, filmmaker. तो uh, but yet again मैं ये नहीं कहना चाहता कि मेरा example देके सब ये समझें कि सब ये आराम से fiction से घुस जाएंगे. I mean, uh, there is there is 23 years of me staying here to actually get into this. But uh, documentary buyer say Anna would then open up more doors for more fictional filmmakers. Unless you're here, please feel free, welcome, come here, stay here. Fictional filmmaking, I mean, we'll do it. 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 Anything concerning partnerships or collaboration? Yeah, I just have a comment. Like I'm somehow accidentally got into you know I'm run into Satan. He was telling Sarmat to you know join uh, this film about community, and I heard heard him. He said he was just talking, and then I went to him like, "Tell me what the scene is." He's like, "Yeah, Mr. Community is running because I'm from Karachi. I'm just there for work." And this session is really helpful, and this community is going to be a lot bigger, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. You know, for making this effort and you know keeping us together. No, no, I I have to commend Sadan for like last time we met. This was uh, something in his head from uh, way much of a long time, and like Mary Tanaf said, so I think you remember like I encouraged you right away. This needs to happen. I mean, मेरे माइंड में तो बहुत दफा पहले आया था एंड आई डन इट वे बिफोर बात ये कि इट्स जस्ट पीपल मेनी पीपल डोंट हैव द टाइम एंड 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 सदान इज अ बिजी कैप्टन सर बट ही टुक द टाइम बिकॉज़ दैट समथिंग दैट इज मैं बहुत मैं बहुत परे हूं भाई अरे अरे के बेला नहीं 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 लेकिन ये है कि आई एम इमेजिनिंग पाकिस्तानी फिल्म मेकर मैं आधा टाइम परे होता हूं ये पते की बात की है लेकिन ये जरूर एक बात है कि समटाइम्स हैविंग टाइम इज इज अ लकी थिंग आई डोंट हैव टाइम एंड ट्रस्ट मी आई शाइट इट आई विश आई हैड टाइम फॉर माय सेल्फ मैं बहुत दफा टाइम खींचता हूँ लोगों से सो आई कैन क्रिएटिवली मे बी राइट अ स्क्रिप्ट मे बी मे बी थिंक ऑफ समथिंग मे बी वॉच अ मूवी एंड बी इंस्पायर्ड अगेन um nowadays i think it's been just too busy for me right now you know like i said i'm working on so many things now which could open up so many doors for pakistanis here it has taken everything of me it has taken all my time it has taken all my energy and this is other than phone pe hota like uh, right now for this session i have closed my phone because otherwise it would be bombarding by now i already have 30 messages i'm completely ignoring it i don't care uh because sometimes some things you have to steal time from Thank you for doing that, by the way. Th- thanks for. Uh, thanks no, for no. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, thank it's, you for the session. It was very helpful. Uh, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just work, as uh, uh, grateful for this. You should share your work in film about these. I uh, mean, I really. This guy, Dyaj Bhai, for Khalid ka aapko trailer dekhe iski film ka. I was very impressed uh, by mm-hmm. the trailer. I've just seen the trailer. I haven't seen the film. Wish 
मैं चाहूंगा सब देखें फिल्म मैं फिलहाल तो ड्राइव पे ही पड़ी हुई है तो कहीं अपलोड नहीं किया था उनके बड़े उनको भी ठीक करना है तो वो मैं भेज देता हूँ आपको प्राइवेट लिंक वो आप जरूर देखिए फीडबैक दीजिए बेटर बेटर ओके एवरीबॉडी थैंक यू सो मच दिस हम इस वाले सेशंस पे करेंगे एक एआई पे करना चाहिए डैश भाई थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस एंड आल्सो हसीब भाई इनाम आई डोंट नो इफ ही इज देयर लेकिन जिन लोगों ने जॉइन किया थैंक यू सो मच हम इस तरह एक और सेशन रखेंगे अच्छा सेकंड ही मैंने एक अनाउंसमेंट करनी थी जो कि मैं कह रहा हूं ऑल द लोग यहां पे नहीं है लेकिन एक छोटी सी अनाउंसमेंट थी देयर इज अ थिंग आई एम ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड इन इस्लामाबाद इट्स कॉल्ड एज लिटिल शॉर्ट्स ठीक है और लिटिल शॉर्ट्स एक एक इंस्टाग्राम पेज है इट्स अ वन मिनट वीडियो चैलेंज सही है वेयर द कम्युनिटी ऑफ फिल्माबाद कैन जॉइन इन इन इट उसके अंदर क्या होगा कि विल मेक लाइक सर्टेन पीपल अच्छा यार ये ये बंदा ये एक्टर है ये प्रोड्यूसर है ये ब्ला ब्ला ये फलाने से मुताबिक भी अच्छा व्हाट आई कैन डू इज प्रोवाइड यू विद ऑल द सिनेमा गियर ठीक है फॉर फ्री फॉर वन डे लाइक क्योंकि हम वीकेंड्स पे शूट करना चाह रहे हैं वन डे शूट करना चाह रहे हैं 1 मिनट का पोर्टफोलियो बनाना चाह रहे हैं उसकी प्रेमिस है रिक्वायरमेंट्स है कि अच्छा इस चीज से हम लोग एलियंस नहीं ला सकते क्योंकि टू मच वी एफएक्स टू मच मनी राइट तो व्हाट वी कैन डू इज लाइक फ्रूगल तरीके से मिल बांट के हर बंदे का आइडिया सेलेक्ट होगा और वो वीकली अगर हम एक दिन निकालें तो उसके ना वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन वो रेडियो वाली वीडियो देखिए आई ट्राई टू शेयर इट एक रेडियो वाली वीडियो थी इसमें रेडियो हां हां देखिए तो दैट वाज द फर्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ दैट मैंने हमने कुछ लोग जमा किए हमने कहा शेयर ये आईडिया है ठीक है मिनिमल इनफ टू शूट इट कोई मसला नहीं व्हाट आई कैन डू इज प्रोवाइड यू विद ऑल द सिनेमा गियर ठीक है मेरे पास साउंड के इक्विपमेंट भी है मेरे पास कैमरास भी हैं लेंस है ढेर सारी चीजें हैं ठीक है तो लाइट्स हैं भाई कुछ आ गया था बाहर से सॉरी इक्विपमेंट आ गया था बाहर से इक्विपमेंट आ गया था तुम्हारे बाहर से सक्सेसफुल है तीन चार चीजें रहती हैं मोस्टली आ गई तो दिस वाज द अनाउंसमेंट इस्लामाबाद में जो लोग हैं आई थिंक यहां पे तो कोई भी इस्लामाबाद में नहीं है सीनियर इन सऊदी अरब ब्याज भाई हैदराबाद में फिर फिलीप मैं पाकिस्तान आ रहा हूं अभी कुछ दिनों में आई एम कमिंग फॉर द आई एम कमिंग फॉर द ईद हॉलिडेज इन इन अ फ्यू डेज सादान जॉब कर रहा हूं इस्लामाबाद में ही तो हम वैसे ही बैठक लगा लेते हैं कभी थोड़ी देर के लिए उधर रहा ताकि सारी चीजें हार्मोनाइज करें आपस में मैं एक इंसाइट बताता हूँ कि कराची में हाँ सॉरी सदान टू कट ऑफ मैं जस्ट टू पुट दिस आउट देयर मे बी फोर्टी एट आवर फिल्म प्रोजेक्ट हुआ था कराची में बहुत पहले मेरी फिल्म माई फैमिली एंड उसमें थी एंड माई फैमिली एंड के नाम से थी ओके एंड बेसिकली उनका थीम बड़ा अच्छा था उनका स्ट्रक्चर जो था इन टर्म्स ऑफ हाउ उनकी पॉलिसीज क्या थी बेसिकली वो एक प्रॉप देते थे एक डायलॉग देते थे वो एक जॉनरा आप सेलेक्ट करते थे जॉनरा आप सेलेक्ट करते थे प्रॉप और डायलॉग उन्होंने देना रहा था 48 एट आवर्स होते शूट करने के लिए आजकल हालात में आई वुड से 48 एट आवर में सॉरी ठीक है उसने कहा जूते 
मैंने कहा एक औरत है उसने कहा सहरा है और फिर एक बंदा था उसने कहा बादल है तो नाउ लेट्स मेक लाइक वन मिनट इसके अंदर इसको कनेक्शन ठीक है तो द आईडिया आ वी 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 कॉल इट अ बॉल पैसिंग टेक्निक फेंकते हैं सारे कंप्लीट करते हैं एंड स्क्रिप्ट निकल आती है समथिंग लाइक सम सम वे अराउंड दैट दैट वे यू शुड मतलब डिजाइन दैट थिंग विद मी मतलब यहां पे लोगों को फायदा हां ठीक हां तो ये फॉर श्योर लेट्स एंड दिस सेशन इट वाज रियली नाइस और इंशाल्लाह इस तरह की और बात करते रहेंगे आई विल बी पोस्टिंग दिस ऑन YouTube तो जो लोग बाद में देख सकते हैं उन्होंने देखना है किसी ने अगर इससे कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन लेनी है तो देखेंगे तो या या थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरीबॉडी बाय बाय टेक केयर